Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Vessel of Hatred is the next big chapter in the story of Diablo IV. When we last left off, we had defeated Lilith, and Nayrell was sailing south with Mephisto Soulstone in hand. This is a tremendous burden for someone as young and untrained as Nayrell. But somehow, she has found the will to fight, challenging the primeval every step of the way. In this expansion, we follow their path as Nayrell seeks salvation from Mephisto and searches for a way to banish him back to the Abyss. As we wrap up Diablo IV, there has been a huge battle in hell between Anarius, the Cathedral of Lights, and Lilith, and all of her demons. Throughout this entire campaign in Diablo IV, you're basically trying to defeat Lilith, so you team up with people like Nayrell, who's this young, eager character. And then you've got Laura, who is this sort of wise drunk. He was a Herodrim, so he brings this rounded, old school thinking. He ends up being the catalyst of the group. Inarius believed that if he killed Lilith, he would be accepted again by heaven. So he went after Lilith. He actually stabbed her, and heaven did not take him back. And he had this moment of, I've been wrong this entire time, and she used that against him and ended up killing Inarius. Her goal was to devour her father, Mephisto, and we ended up actually stopping her. And so even though she was defeated, she kind of gave us a warning of, I was the only one that could actually save you from Mephisto. Nayrell is left with the Soul Stone, and she decides to take the essence of Mephisto and trap him into the Soul Stone. Lorath is still with us and is going to try and help us find information on where Nayrell went. And so we leave off with her sailing south with the stone, telling you, do not follow. The world might need you. And over time, things start to unfold, and you realize that Nayrell cannot do this alone. And so you start your search for her. When we pick up in Vessel of Hatred, the Cathedral of Light is kind of in disarray. It became a bit fractured with the death of Inarius, so there was a bit of a split with the Cathedral of Light afterwards. This created an opening for a whole new sect to rise up and take things into their own hands. And so you end up with a militant wing of the church that is the Burnt Knights. Burnt Knights are led by Yurvar, a survivor of hell. He's uncompromising. He feels that he's final judgment and that he's going to make better decisions for the church. They battled in hell, and now they're on this manhunt for Nayrell and for Lorath. They want them to pay for their crimes, and they think that they should be the ones that have a say in what happens to Sanctuary. Mephisto is the Lord of Hatred. He's probably the one primeval that can create the most deep-rooted chaos, breaking up the people of Sanctuary. In the events of Diablo II, he was destroyed. He's been slowly resurrecting himself in hell, and he wants to come back and bring himself back to Sanctuary. And now that he is in this soul stone that Nayrell carries, this is his opportunity. The Herald of Hatred is Mephisto's wolf form. It's this astral projected form that he gets to put out and connect with the player and whisper in people's ears. The connection between Nayrell the player and Mephisto is the fate of the world. Nayrell wants to get rid of him, but the more time she spends with the stone, the tighter the bond between her and the stone is. The corrupting influence of Mephisto's soul stone is going to potentially convince her to bring Mephisto back instead of destroy him like she originally wanted. So we need to actually make sure that she fulfills her original intent and doesn't fall to Mephisto's influence. Nyrell plans to bring the Soul Stone into the Vault of Light so she can purify the Soul Stone of Mephisto's essence. The Vault of Light is this really sacred place that Akarat created. His presence is really important through the history of Sanctuary. Akarat wandered the world speaking the teachings of the Zacharum faith. His tomb is also said to be in the Vault of Light, which is in Nahantu. 
Acheron is the one who discovered the spirit realm. When the world stone was forged and sanctuary came out of it, this veil was created, and that's what created the spirit realm. Demons aren't there, angels aren't there. It's a very special place for humanity. And for a long time, the spirit realm was not touched. And now Mephisto's corruption is creeping its way. I and mean, that's the fear that everybody in Nahantu is thinking about. Spirituality is really unique to humanity. And in the jungle, it's a big part of their culture. Eru is this elder, this magical being, a spirit born, and he's really connected to Nahantu. This is his home, this is his ancestral lineage, and he's guiding the player on this journey to help Nairel. We actually find out that there have been sightings of Nairel in Nahantu, and we end up following her there. In Vessel of Hatred, this is a story about isolation. We start off with the concept that Nayrell is trying to do this alone, but at some point, you realize that things are escalating. And so we morph from this idea of isolation into the idea of being stronger together. For someone that has been through the journey that our wanderer has, that Nayrell has been through, you feel there's hope that sanctuary is not gonna be lost. You get to see pockets of sanctuary that we haven't been able to see before, but it's still all in the same tone, in that same world that everybody loves so much.